Hey everybody, welcome to a cheapo video review of this week's homework assignment. The first thing I want you to do is to remember to draw a big outline on your paper to represent a frame like I've done here in this drawing of this um, lawn chair here. So you want to prepare a composition by drawing a frame within your piece of paper. This is a good example of a line drawing, a really simple one that I did with different thicknesses of line because this week's assignment is really to emphasize volume and form and shape and how, how that makes things look three-dimensional. But the first, first of all, I want you to start with a line drawing. Here's another really nice example from the, a book that I have um, where it's uh, you know, pretty much the same thickness of line. It shows actually a lot of depth, even though it's pretty simple. It is easier to achieve... Um, the sense of uh, line, or excuse me, the sense of volume doing other, using other methods like in this drawing of a still life like we've been doing. Notice how much volume that shows. That's the second, that would be the second drawing here. Is something, choose something in the real world again, not from your imagination, that um, shows volume. Notice this shows 3D, you know, objects in space as opposed to the next one, which is, uh, oops, where's value? This one here shows less uh, sense of three dimensions, but a really good idea of the different kinds of, um, you know, like how you can show from light to dark. Remember, value really means light to dark. Volume is really uh, trying to show three dimensions. So that's the good example for value, which is the third one. And the last one is cross-hatching. I found, had trouble finding a really good example of that. But here from my sketchbook, this shows a value strip for cross-hatching, white at the top, and varying densities of cross-hatching toward the bottom. I did find some good examples in the book that didn't quite show cross-hatching um, in particular, but it shows different kinds of hatching that you can do, which are really fine marks that get closer and closer together when you want to show something as being darker and darker. And let's see, I've got another example here. Here we go. This one's a really cool one of this castle in England, I think. Uh, oops, sorry about the shadow. See if I can focus on that. Camera doesn't really want to focus. But notice how um, this is an, a pretty good example of cross hatching and a, a few different other kinds of hatching too, so you can do that. Um, one of your options is to use your sketchbook instead of the large paper if you feel like it, because it is kind of hard to do a large drawing with this kind of cross hatching. Oops, and the camera doesn't want to focus. Sorry about that. Anyhow, uh, so again, use the sketchbook if you need to on this final, the cross-hatching drawing. Use the large size for the other three. And remember, do draw from the actual world, since we are trying to learn how to transfer the world into uh, the 3D world into onto 2D paper. So see you on Saturday.